Hi, my name is Olivia Diaz, and this is my engineering tech project about Apollo 1. In 1967, the Apollo 1 crew was performing a test launch on the launch pad in Cape Canaveral. The ship was divided into two modules, the command module and the service module. Originally, the module was planned to take a low Earth orbital, carrying three astronauts, Virgil Grissom, Edward White, and Roger Chaffee. The accident occurred on January 27th, when there was a spike in oxygen flow to the command module. Earlier on, the crew had been having troubles with the communication system, leading Grissom to comment, If we can't even communicate between three buildings, how are we ever going to get to the moon? Just after the oxygen spike, Mission Control heard an unclear transmission. The words could not be understood, but the panic in the astronaut's voice was clear. Flames became visible through the command module window. An engineer from Mission Control was able to reach the hatch and open it. Smoke began to pour out, and brave engineers fought against the smoke to reach the astronauts trapped inside the module. But the smoke was too thick to see through, and the panicked transmissions quickly fell silent. An hour and a half later, firefighters were finally able to remove the bodies. Melted nylon from their suits had fused their bodies to the cabin. The investigation concluded that a wire under the crew's feet had broken. Since they were lying back in the module, the crew hadn't noticed the fire beginning. The cabin was full of pure oxygen, and it had only taken ten seconds for the module to fill with flames. The astronauts' official cause of death was smoke inhalation. Their oxygen hoses were severed by the flames. It is estimated that all three died in less than a minute. Since the engineers hadn't realized that a fire could occur even when there was no power source or fuel attached to the module, they had neglected to give the astronauts a way to extinguish the fire. Although the fate of Apollo 1 was tragic, it did better equip NASA to reach the moon by the end of the decade with Apollo 11. Thanks to the changes made to the command module, Apollo 11 was able to reach the moon and return to Earth without any fires. Today, engineers are careful to consider every possible instance in which a fire could occur in order to keep disasters like this from happening.